Oh, hello. I don't remember the voices still. Alright, we finally made it to the ancient battlefield. Ancient battlefield? It's officially called the Colonia Colonoscopy Battlefield. Though it's the only battlefield around, and the last fight took place ages ago. One of a man's face, oh. That would be quite scary if there were enemies that were bouncing man's faces. That would be pretty funny though. It's the spot where Lord Eldeel and King Le Ponce had their final confrontation. Oh, it's this music! I've been wondering when this will show up. I've got this as my alarm on my phone. It's called Ancient Land if anyone wants to look it up. Oh, you don't make it quieter. King Le, Le Ponce was human, wasn't he? How can a battle with a human being possibly cause this much devastation? I think he was commanding Sol during the battle, just like Lisa back in Danan. Oh, well that would explain it. He used just about every piece of technology, technology, available to him in his attempts to pacify Lord LD or Sol included. I'm sure it started out as a plan B, but when fighting a god, you're not likely to push too many options off the table. The Galbalans were created using the forbidden arts of your village, correct? Does that mean King Leponce himself was from Danan? He wasn't, no. He was one of those guided to this land by Lord Eldeor, much like our ancestors. But unlike the others, he was a good man who tried his best to prevent them from turning against the gods. One of the few righteous men who stood in opposition to the Darklings. Eldeor was the one who brought those Darklings back with him, right? I wonder why. I've always felt he could be out forgiving to a fault at times, but I mean, he is a god. Yeah, it sounds like it's one of his good points. One of the things that makes him so special. I completely agree. I wonder at what point a good king like that would find himself left with no choice but to rely on a forbidden technology. We'll probably never know for sure, but seeing as our ancestors were lending him the aid of those forbidden arts, it must have been a dire moment in history. Hmm. Come on, I don't wish I'd get moving. Yeah, we should. Listen to the music! Save it as well so we don't have to do that again when we die. Because I'm paying too much attention to the music and not the combat. I never mind, they're easy. I wonder I like it so much. It's one of the ones with violins in. So I'll say techno, techno, techno. Oi! Fatty. Bogorov. Hey, I saw some green fumes come out. I wonder if it poisons you. Like everything else in this game, let's find out. Oh. Oh, even worse. Well, he's poisoned now. What a cool area. All the ruins. Saturday streams. Is it a good thing? Or is, or is Saturday a bad day for it? Or are you just saying? Because I, I have streamed on Saturday the last couple of times, I think. But I don't know. It's just been a coincidence anyway. 
That is a lot. Oh, hi Dixie. Oh wait, I thought that was Slayer. Stupid same colour names. But yes, hello. Why not another skill? You've shown up just when the best music arrived as well. It must have drawn you here. At least it's my favourite one that I picked out from the soundtrack when I first listened through it. And it's like the only one I repeatedly listened to. The rest of it I tried not to, because I don't want to spoil it all too much. But it's just too good. How is Dixie today, anyway? Chesticle... These things take forever. And they are level 43. Oh. oh, dead. Wasn't there a save point somewhere nearby? Not really, no. Oh, let's... No, let's not switch him out. Oh, fudge this, ancient land. More like arsehole land. I'm just going to teleport back and then run back here. It does mean disrupting the music briefly. Sorry guys, not today. Can't say the same from the mates over there though. They just want to kill everything. I'm just killing these because they got in my way. Right, let's not go that way first, actually. Let me go over here. The elemental bows. Oh, there's one right there. Oh! Oh, check that out. Pretty grand looking building. Hee <laughs> hee, we're here. Everyone welcome to Elduke, the capital of the ancient kingdom of Celseta. Oh! Yeah, I guess so. Doesn't look very ruined, it's just got ivy all over it. Or whatever. So this is the place, huh? We finally made it. It appears the vast division of patrol of the area. Cell setter. Oh. Wait, didn't... Wasn't there a similar conversation last time that led to talking about Cell Dweller? I'm not sure. Yeah, if they find us, this might get messy. Oh, just how I like it. So we're going to have to be extra careful we're not spotted. Where's the temple? Temple of the Sun is at the highest point in the city, since that's where the god himself resided. Wait, is this where I was supposed to be going then? Because the the quest flag was miles away, in the other direction. What is the significance of that enormous tree? It's a rhoda tree, is it? I hope so. 
Oh, sad. Oh, it is a rhoda tree. That's a rhoda tree, a spirit tree created by Lord Eldeal. I believe you've seen smaller ones in the areas you've used as camps while travelling through the forest. Well, I had no idea they grew this big, though it's still not as big as the great tree in Komodo. Why are they called spirit trees? People who have a certain degree of magical power can supposedly communicate with them spiritually. Yeah, just like in East One and Origin. But this Rhoda tree is different. It fell asleep when the Kingdom of Selseta fell, and has never woken up since. Alright, Adol, let's go up to the Temple of the Sun and see if we can figure anything out. Right! Oh boy, here he goes again. What? You're the one who said let's go? I'll see that smile on your face. The more dangerous the situation, the better, huh? Hehe, <laughs> come on everyone. Right, no then. Oh, Lost Kingdom achievement. Hang on then. So, what's over here then? Gosh. The unpredictable winding path. Just when you think one direction is taking you where you need to go. It isn't. There we go. And now like it reaches across the world. Oh. Yeah, it's my favourite one. I thought I'd settled on seven being my favourite, but but I decided, nah, the, a lot of the bosses in that are too annoying. And I pretty much love everything about Origin, so... And I feel like that's the most balanced one of the series as well. Like, it's hard, but if you just go and get another level or two, then it becomes manageable. And if you just get another level or two, then it becomes easy. So it's like you can play however you want, and it's just perfect, almost. I guess. Alright. Uh, I don't know what I want more. Yeah, let's have rare items instead of Dosh. You can have the Dosh one just in case. Anything. Right. Blade Barrage. Let's put Stun Raid on one. And then we'll put Blade Barrage on here. So we've got Circle and Square to do. Leave it to me! I don't like that skill very much, I don't know. Maybe it just needs to level up a bit to become really good. This is like an AoE thing. Oh, let's sit here a bit and get rid of poison. Oh, there she goes, never mind. I don't know why I still have such a, a big love for Seven though. But considering I hate. Oh, okay. Yeah, we couldn't go here. Well, I don't hate, but. Considering how unfairly hard some of the bosses are. It's still just. I don't know, it stuck with me. Maybe it was the story and the characters and stuff. Bogana. Confused in what way? Well, I guess because I'm uploading for Elgana right now. So you're used to watching that, and now you're watching this, and you're not sure which one you're watching anymore. Or something. Yeah, 
That's pretty cool. Whoa, it sucked them in. Unless they just happen to move in that way. I hate these big things. They should die. Ow! I want to block those. If I'm not doing a skill at the time. Right, let's see if we can not die. to stop using a skill just when he's going to jump. There we go. It's easy if you just strategize. God, I'm complaining about hating him. But no, just think a bit. Play like the master swordsman you are. Yeah, I think it does suck him in. Oh. Big area. Uh, I just, I just thought. So I was thinking, like, what if I used this skill to suck him in, and then one of the other party members was ready to use some kind of big explosion attack? And it made me think. Imagine a multiplayer East game. Two other people could be playing these two characters. Why is that not a thing? There was an East MMO, which is dead now. But I don't know how good it was, and I haven't seen gameplay of it. But I did look up the soundtrack, because of course I have to. But it wasn't very easy. So I don't know. Ah, Stonage! Get back here! Right, I guess we'll heal again. Better to be safe. sit here and listen, bobbing my head in real life because I can't help it. Yeah, where else would you be bobbing your head? In fake life? to the big numbers in this game. I don't think even these eight had four. Oh great. Dead. Arsehole. Well it still stuns you even if you block it. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. 
in a panic because I expected him to breathe. Right, where are we? Somewhere. We're only three levels off those plant things now. Might be worth going back and trying again. Can't see what he's doing. Some idiot built a wall there in the past didn't consider the future. Why is coal coming out of mushrooms? Seven, and she's the one I need to kill the plants with. So maybe it's not a good time. Well, I guess it's time to heal again. <sighs> Oi! Well, he doesn't need as much health anyway. He's so aggressive. Wasn't even in B. Yeah, whatever. Shut up, Adol, you're ruining the music. What am I doing? It's too early for that. I don't know if I can handle two or so. Stop! Oh, they've come back. Oh, they've come back. Find an opening. Let's get them. Don't let them hit you. Let's let, get yeah, I guess it was let's find. It was like let's fuck, let's fuck, let's fuck. The strange, unintentional things you can find by being an idiot. I'm not saying you're an idiot. I'm saying me being an idiot doing that. Wasn't that the experience thing? Where is it? Where right there? Yeah, it is. Quillica, do you? No, you don't. Have it on just in case it does something. Oh, he had it. Yeah, it seems to work when they're not in the active party, because he's one level higher. So she can have one as well. Yeah, we're all idiots, really, sometimes. 
But where would be the fun in being intelligent all the time? And you know, if it was multiplayer, maybe these other idiots could stop getting hit as well. Wait, what was that? I don't know. I thought it leveled up and had a new cool effect. No, it doesn't. is going to stop me from blocking there. It's just so damn fun. I can't get over it. The worst part is status effects because they ruin everything. Just try and have fun. At least it's not misfortune. Oh, well, speak for yourselves. <laughs> I'm obviously objectively perfect in every way. I'll just use a bloody... We've got a million of them, as in 15. Does this look like a boss? I don't know. Not really. Might as well get healed up just in case. Is that over there? This one's huge. We have to stay it's a Dwemer thingy. And there was a Healy thing right there, so... It was a waste of a very brief amount of time. Whoa! Ah! At least it hasn't got much health. I could just do this. Why would they put this enemy here? Way to remove all threat. I thought we killed it. It's just like Soul. If we can't kill it with our current weapons, there's no reason to waste any more time fighting it. We should fall back for now. Oh, fart and heft. Stop going in there, you idiots. God. Right then. 